Today we are going to find out how to make your Notion pages stop looking like this and look more like this. But is this necessary? Do you need an aesthetic Notion workspace to be productive, efficient, and the best version of yourself? Well, absolutely not, but it's fun, so why not? And if you're interested in any of my Notion templates, I will leave a link down below for you to have your very own, all pre-made, done-for-you template. Designing your dashboard to an aesthetic that you identify yourself with may not actually make you more productive, but it does add some fun to the process, and identifying your work and study routine with a fun experience is always the best way to actually stay motivated to do your work. So let's get started. Let's start with the basics. Notion lacks some powerful calendar and time tracking features so being able to embed your own calendar in your workspace can be a good alternative if you simply can't bother with switching back and forth between different productivity tools Indify has a nice Google Calendar widget that you can add anywhere in your Notion workspace to check your calendar and this will work with monthly, weekly, and daily views. Pair it off with a nice section to write down any to-dos of the day and you got yourself a simple but effective time management system in your workspace. Icons are a big part of Notion. Besides illustrating the page, editing or creating icons can also help you categorize information. For instance, in the Kanban board view, I use icons to signal whether one of the ideas is on hold, in progress, or completed. You can apply the same principle to several other areas in your Notion workspace. So having a cohesive icon list can make a big difference. My advice is to go to a website like Vladicon and create a customizable icon collection that you can download into an Ocean page to keep all of those icons at hand. Using the same icons and giving them a specific purpose will help you identify your color key throughout the workspace, giving you a powerful tool to categorize and organize things. The Life Progress widget is another great Indify plugin that basically helps you set a timeline that breaks down various units. The main purpose is to establish your live progress, but of course you can select other types of due dates. It's pretty minimal and aesthetic and updates daily, so it's a fantastic countdown to keep at hand. You can also create a synced block in your Notion workspace and copy and paste it throughout all of your workspace while keeping an embedded playlist inside your sync block. Of course, you can also keep any other kind of information in there, but when you embed a playlist that way, your Notion workspace will have its own theme song or individual playlist. And if that isn't main character material, I don't know what is. Nochart is a plugin that turns your Notion databases into well, interactive, and customizable motion charts. The app gathers the data from the database, it embeds the chart into any page with just one click, and you can tell it exactly what you want to see from the database, and the AI will do the job for you. It's the perfect way to share insights with other people, or if you're a visual learner, to see your data arranged in a different, more intuitive way. And for day-to-day -day management, it can be quite useful to have a comprehensive weather plugin in your main Notion dashboard. There are several weather widgets available for Notion, but I'm a fan of Indify's weather widgets as it has a very minimal aesthetic and shows you the weekly weather for your selected location. You can also click and drag it and drop it anywhere in your workspace if you're leaning to a more visually appealing way to organize pages and information. Having a beautiful color coordinated gallery is the way to go. When creating a gallery block, go to the layout options and allow card preview to match your card cover. You can use colors to generate a color palette that you can use throughout your whole Notion workspace to ensure everything looks put together. Make sure your card icons don't clash with the covers you choose and you're good to go. And if you have part of your financial life or other types of data in your Notion workspace, having a handy calculator widget nearby can be useful and also look actually pretty nice. I also want to introduce you to a concept I rarely see in workspaces, and that is a possibility to create buttons to navigate your workspace in a very visually pleasing way. You can customize the button the way you like choosing colors and different formats, and then you can hyperlink any kind of page to that button. You can place it anywhere in the workspace, create multiple buttons for different purposes, and overall just make these links pop out very nicely in your workspace. 
And lastly, I want to talk about DocCam. DocCam is still very early in its development, but I wanted to include it in this list, as I believe this will completely transform the way you use Notion, and that's because DocCam basically turns your Notion content into mind maps. This can be an incredible option for people who want to use Notion to take notes and love the ability to study their notes in mind map format, but it can also be great for visual learners in general. After selecting a starting block, DocCam uses smart features to transform toggle blocks, colored text checkboxes, and even images into a mind map format. The same happens with structured databases, and because they're interactive, you can collapse and expand blocks, zoom in and out, and overall just customize the map as your own while staying true to a Notion's minimalistic style. And you can use Notion to organize your whole self-learning experience. If you're interested in science, maths, and technology, I highly recommend taking a class on scientific thinking. The kind of skill that is at the foundation of everything else and is such a great skill for you to learn before even thinking about mastering other skills. And you can learn all about scientific thinking with Brilliant. Brilliant is an interactive learning platform that teaches about math, science, computer science, and many other subjects. The whole concept behind Brilliant is to allow it to be very hands-on so you can learn a lot of new things without having to memorize entire textbooks. And if you're like, oh, I'm not really that much into science, you'll see what I mean. That's because Brilliant has more to it than it looks. For instance, you can learn more about making decisions, solving problems, resource trade-offs, how to organize information, and you need literally no previous knowledge for that. And that's the beauty of Brilliant. They introduce you to science concepts by showing you how it works in the world around you. So you never have to say again that you're terrible at math and that you can't understand how physics works that should not be restraining you because you just need the right resources and the right way of learning to start getting it. So if you want to start learning about Brilliant, you can get a good discount down below if you click the link in the description box. At the end here, I will be showing you a glimpse of another aesthetic Notion template that I have created for everyday life. If you're interested, I'm leaving a link down below to my Etsy shop for you to get one for yourself. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.